Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how I did that. Okay, uh, for this one, as you can see, I used the, the robotic arm, then I attached uh, three servos on it. The first servo, second servo, and the third servo. So this servo over here, it's for the forward and backward. So this one is for grab and release, and this one is for rotation, clockwise and anti-clockwise. So guys, if you want to build the exact robotic arm, because it's not my design, you can go to Thinkverse. Then you will get this type of robotic arm. Then I use a, a webcam. A webcam is for uh, detecting the colors. So as you can see on the video, I used green and orange. All right. Then this one is a normal MDF hood. Then the reason why it's blue because I use some of these it's spray paint, so that's why it's looking so presentable. And the base, I also use the MDF, I mean the MDF wood with a, a spray paint. Okay, then I use a, um, a motor driver shield to drive this because this was for the conveyor belt. Okay guys, on this part, it's, it's part of the coat. As you can see this side, it's, uh, it's for the hardware. And this part is for the camera. Uh, you can also use this coat on your Raspberry Pi if you want to. But uh, for this project, I was using uh, a computer. I connected the webcam. So, uh, so I'll explain the most important part. Uh, so this... Uh, uh, code of the hardware. I use a motor driver shield so uh, this part is whereby um, is I connected the motor one motor. I didn't use all of them uh, The most important thing here is uh, This library for the motor and this library for the servo and this library for the ultrasonic sensor as you can see I use the ultrasonic sensor the trick pin the echo pin and the distance and this part um, is for detecting we're detecting two colors right we're detecting the the green color and the orange color so when we come to the software part you need to make sure that the comport is the same as uh, the one from for the hardware so let's say you say com 29 you need to make sure that your your device is connected to COM29. So, uh, for example, let me do this. Okay, it won't show. It won't show, but it will show down there that uh, the device is connected. Let's say it's it, the device, if it was connected to COM23, then you will change this number to COM23. This one is for the baud rate, 9,600. 9, make sure it also correspond with the one on the hardware Let me show you i'm looking for the part uh, i'm looking for the part of the software yeah this part so you need to make sure that the serial this number it's the same as this one the com port and uh, you will see if your design is connected to to come if it's com 23 or com 21 then you just change uh, that number they, they must correspond so what i'm gonna explain on this part so we are detecting uh it will be a frame uh it's looking for two colors so it's looking for blue uh it's looking for green and orange green and orange so meaning when it sees a green for this part it will do something so we are expecting it when it sees the green color so it will send the green the, the when it sees the green it will send this character the g character to the hardware so the hardware it will receive and do something like for example you see here 
the conveyor belt it will be moving because it's controlled by the the the, the motor so but now you say if uh, the, the, the conveyor belt so there is a library for the conveyor belt so for this one if the color is G so it will go to green C green C is a method so let's go and green C and check what method is this so that method inside of it is a servo code you remember it will stop the conveyor belt after stopping the conveyor belt but it won't stop immediately it will uh, it will stop the conveyor belt after stopping the conveyor belt then the servo will start moving so I'm looking for the part where it stops the conveyor belt we are still in the library so you see here uh, it will start by going forward after going forward it will grab then it will rotate now it will go back and it will rotate then it's going forward just to place an object then this part it will release then after that it, it will go back to its initial position the, so this part is whereby it will stop the conveyor belt so it will send this message on the serial saying it's done then after that this one is the, just a method for for the conveyor belt it's moving forward then this one it stops so I use two method for moving and stopping all right so let's go back to the to the another part so G else color O so when it says color O we know that O stand for orange green uh, G stand for uh, green G stand for green O stand for orange so then it will attend this method this method is almost the same as this one but the only different it will place an object to a different position all right so when you go to the hardware as you see the hardware uh, this part is for green is for green uh, I was supposed to say green instead of blue uh, this one is for detecting the orange color it will do the same it will send the O this is how you send to the hardware sending O for orange then this part is for the frame so we have two frames for the green frame uh, the, and the orange frame but on this part I didn't use separate frames I use a combined frame so meaning single frame is detecting two colors orange and green and it will have an original frame so it will be original frame attached to uh, uh, the frame where whereby it's only detecting those two colors